So uh, President Trump, of course, is up early watching TV, making sure his TV <laughs> network follows orders. Um, and he tweeted this morning also. He says this, remember Republicans are 5-0 and in congressional races this year. The media refuses to mention this. I said Gillespie and Moore would lose for very different reasons, and they did. I also predicted I would win. Republicans will do well in 2018, very well. Yes. Uh, and well, then he tags around the eye or the oh, best part that's incredible. He tags the tweet at Fox oh, and well, Friends. So, oh God, Your glad, network is doing good this morning. I'm glad he's Are they watching. making you happy? So, how wrong was he on that? Well, he's incredibly, he's just beyond Ron. He's so wrong, he's not even worth, it's not even worth addressing him. It's a, cause, cause, uh, but the quotation marks around the eyes, it can take me a while to get around. You know, <laughs> like quote, he puts win. quote marks around things randomly and in a kind of um, uh, surrealistic way all the time. But to put just the quotation marks around the eye, yeah. around a capital I, just, I don't really know what to make do you, of that. Do you think this president is slightly into himself? It's just the most, it's the most meta thing he's ever done. It's kind of referring right, to himself. So, a great so, so let's break this down. First First of all, Republicans have been underperforming by an average yes. of 9 to 12 points sure. in every congressional race. Yes. He's talking about congressional races. Here we go. Uh, the, the Democrats did 20 points better in Kansas, four. They did three. Uh, Republicans won by three, did three better. It, mm -hmm. I mean, they didn't yeah. do three better. And then the presidential. He, there, this is referring to oh, the oh, oh, compared to Trump. I yeah. thought you were comparing to the yeah. last congressional no. candidate, which mm -hmm. uh, really uh, they Republicans underperformed. Plus three Georgia. Uh, Democrats did 15 points better than Trump in Montana. They did 15 points better than Trump in South Carolina's fifth. They did three points better in the Virginia governor's race. And in the Alabama Senate race, they did 30 points better well, than, you, than Donald Trump. And He's, you think about some of those. We were just in Alabama last week, and we did it in Alabama. We also did it in certain places in Virginia where you looked at Trump's performance in certain, particularly in certain key uh, swing districts, suburbs, counties where he carried those places in Northern Virginia or in some of the suburban uh, upper crust Republican uh, neighborhoods in Alabama where he, they were the Democratic candidate uh, blew, you know, blew out the Republican, whether it was Roy Moore or in a much more conventional race where Ed Gillespie got beat in Virginia and other places. So at, both the Republicans are losing in these races, but also the Republican brand is losing, and Donald Trump in particular is being repudiated in county after county, and the counties where Republicans are going to need to win to hold control of Congress in 2018, and certainly where Donald Trump will need to win if he has any chance of re-election well, in 2020. And, and, and you look at this, Democrats have flipped 14 state legislative seats since Donald Trump won. You know how many Republicans have flipped? None. Uh, I was just guessing on that zero. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even in districts where the Republican candidates survive, margins of victory are dropping. The number of voters who identify themselves as Republicans, that's dropped five percentage points. You can go to Delaware County. Uh, if you want to go on the local level in Pennsylvania, they, they're electing Repo Democrats for the first time in history. Uh, it, you, you go across the country, you look at Mountain Brook, it's, it's from Pennsylvania to Alabama all across the country. The Donald Trump and Republicans are bleeding votes. Well, yeah. they don't like him.